So this is this is a little bit different than the videos you we usually cover on this channel, but I do want to kind of expand because it kind of becomes a bit repetitive with with some of the videos I react to, and I want to kind of stand out a little bit in this space. So we're going to cover more things like this, more stories, more things kind of trending on on X. We're going to expand a little bit, become just a little bit more broad, but we're still covering the same thing because this is very in tune with what is usually covered on this channel. But this has been going on kind of, it's, it, yesterday it started kind of spreading. And first I just want to say Candace Owens is just, I mean, she's always fucking spot on with, with shit. She's so based, <laughs> based. And yeah, I, I love the chick. I think she's great. We need more women like her, absolutely. So first off, let's, let's, let's get into what this is. And then we'll, we'll kind of address Candace's take, and I'll give you mine. But so this is a clip coming from Patriot Takes Twitter username. It says Charlie Kirk says women in their early thirties are not at their prime and not as attractive in the dating pool. So that's big in the dating pool. They're not as attractive in the dating pool. And you guys, the outrage. That is occurring right now. You would think that this guy just said, let's let's set females on a blaze. I don't want to say it exactly, but you would think he just said, let's eradicate all, all females. I mean, it is unbelievable the backlash that I have been seeing. What does this tweet have? 3.5 million views, ton of people quoting it, popping up everywhere. Women are enraged at this. At their, they are furious. And it's just incredible to me how they cannot take the truth. But then, of course, you have Candace Owens restoring my, my faith and hope and common sense. It's like if you tell the truth, they get mad. Anyways, let's, let me play this and you can, that way you understand what I'm talking about. We basically told a great generation of young women, don't get married, don't have kids, go get a corporate job, and it's created mass political hysteria. Um, and then in their early 30s, they get really upset because they say, you know, the boys don't want to date me anymore because they're not at their prime. And be people get mad when I say that. Well, it's just true. If you're in your early 30s, I'm sorry. It's like you're not as attractive in the dating pool as you were in the early 20s. But again, you have your corporate job and cats, so I thought, you, you know... We basic Super simple take, and it's kind of like, okay, telling young men. It's kind of like you see a, a, I don't know, a 20-year-old saying, well, why, why aren't women that interested in me? Why are women pursuing a little bit older men going after men who are a little bit more stable and financially well-off? What's going on here? And then people will say, well, yeah, man, get your shit together. If you want a woman, get out of your mom's basement, lose some weight, stop playing video games all the time. It's like, yeah, no shit. Okay. Yeah, that might be hard for some young men to hear that they need to become a little bit mature, stop playing the video games, put down the Mountain Dew, put down the, the Cheetos or what have you, and and figure out how you can become a better man. All right. Whoa, right? Men don't, we, we get it. Like, yeah, you're probably right. And if they continue to play video games, they know they're kind of slipping up. And not to go on a rant on video games, but personally, I, I actually do find that a, a big waste of time. And I, I don't do it. I don't play video games. But that's not really the point here. Here's Candace's take. People are outraged about this clip. Me, I find it weird that women in their 30s can be so insecure so as to refuse to admit that, of course, Charlie is telling the truth here. I absolutely love my 30s. I prefer my 30s to my 20s because I feel more secure. Secure enough to admit that Charlie is telling the truth. And one of the reasons I think Candace is so secure in saying this is because she's already locked down. She's already secured her husband and children. But what we're seeing is a lot of women in general, a lot of modern women don't like this take because they haven't secured that yet. They are in their 30s and they haven't secured their husband or, or had children yet. And so they are where Charlie is saying they're at. They are in their 30s and the dating pool. And they haven't got a husband. They haven't got uh, a man. They haven't got children. So they get really offended at this. Because this is where they're at. And 
yet to me it's just been absolutely insane seeing the backlash. It's so obviously true. I mean, we're not even talking about like biologically yet. It's like, yeah, women are on a time clock when it comes to fertility. At this point, I think it's common knowledge that when women hit like age 35, it's classified as a geriatric pregnancy. I'm not saying they can't do it, but it's like at that age, you start losing eggs. Cause, and, and now we see an increase in women freezing their eggs. And I think what really pisses these women off is they've been told for quite some time now, stay independent, stay single, focus on your career. A woman's prime is her 30s, and that's when your looks peak. And then you start hearing this, and they're like, well, hold on. That's not what I've been told. I've been told the opposite, and now you're telling me I was better. I was more attractive in my 20s. Men wanted me. Um, I was more valuable in the dating pool at my 20s. Ultimately, it's like men are programmed, not, men are biologically wired to find fertility attractive. So as women get older, they become less fertile. And things on the surface show that. So we're just, yeah, we're more attracted to younger women. I think there's a study that came out and it's like men at all ages, 20 to like 50 or 70, something like that. They are still most attracted to women in their 20s. I think it starts to cut off after 24. It's just that's peak fertility. So women are absolutely enraged at this. And then you've got, man, I love it how these clips just show how feminist right-wing women are. You have a ton of right-wing women coming out saying, you know, we we all question why women, why the right-wing is losing women. And then may, men say things like this. It's the truth. <laughs> My goodness, it's incredible. Tell them just a little bit of truth. Let's say, why are you telling me this? Why are you saying the truth? Yes, it might be true, but why are you saying it? Don't you care about women's feelings? Why are you hurting women's feelings by telling them the truth? And this is the thing. You'll notice that these women will eventually. I've seen countless clips of women getting older and saying, I was lied to. Why didn't anybody tell me the truth? Because you can't handle the truth. You're going to call the person who's telling you the truth. You're going to call them a bigot. You're going to get offended. So you just can't tell them the truth. You can't tell them nothing. It's like this is such a simple told a great generation of young women don't get married don't have kids go get a corporate job and it's created mass political hysteria um, and then in their early 30s they get really upset because they say you know the boys don't want to date me anymore because they're not at their prime and people get mad when I say that well it's just true if you're in your early 30s I'm sorry it's like you're not as attractive in the dating pool as you were in the early 20s but again you have your corporate job and cats so I thought you you know we this guy just tried to tell you all the truth and even the right-wing women are pissed. <laughs> oh, you think you're going to tell young, left-leaning women this and they're going to receive it well? And like, you know what? Thank you for telling me this before I got into my 30s. So now that I can capitalize on my, my looks and fertility, thank you for telling me this. No, you even have right-wing women offended at this. You can't tell them the truth. Too far gone. It's not going to happen. You can't do it. So this is why I laugh at those clips. These these stories that come out. It was not too long what Fox News had some chick on who's saying exactly what I'm 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 speaking of. It's like, yeah, I was a feminist. I believed in feminism. And then I got older and I was like, well, why did everybody lie to me? Because you can't handle the truth. We've been coddling these, these ladies' feelings for so long. We have a body positivity movement. What is that? What, what is that, man? Can't tell women the truth. They all get offended. Even the right-wing women, their knee-jerk reaction is, why are you saying that? Yeah, maybe it's true. But if you keep saying the truth, we're going to lose women. Women won't come into the right wing. 
Yeah, maybe they shouldn't be involved in politics anyways. Seems like the women against suffrage, which was the majority, by the way, up until a certain point, obviously, because of a large push of propaganda backed by certain people's dollars, which I'm not going to get into. Those women understood, yeah, let's let's keep women out of politics. Maybe suffrage isn't that that good of an idea. And then you've got a chick like Savannah Hernandez. So I tweeted this and I said, it sounds like women aren't built for politics. I think the women against suffrage knew this. So what she says, and she's like referring to the things that, that Charlie Kirk said. She's saying, PSA, if we want to stop driving women away from the right wing, we need to stop talking to women like they're men. So what she's saying is we need to, we need to coddle women a little bit more. We need to speak to them differently. We should tiptoe. We should walk on eggshells when we speak to them. Then, then why are they in politics? Maybe we sh <laughs> Maybe they just shouldn't be involved. If we want to stop driving women away from the right wing, we need to stop talking to women like they're men. Kind of sounds like a good argument against suffrage. I don't know. Do I want to play this? I don't really want to listen to it talk that much. It's so vitriolic, but the time has... All right, I vowed to never break my silence on this issue because it's so vitriolic, but the time has come, uh, especially since we're seeing a lot of the commentary surrounding birth control. And once again, women not being in their prime in their 30s, but being in their prime in... <laughs> it's the truth, man. Your 20s. Now, these are both sentiments that I actually agree with. Okay. However, and this is a PSA for all men on the right wing, we really need to work on our delivery of Oh, our Jesus Christ. Watch your tone. Watch your delivery. Oh, God. It's, it's a great argument against suffrage. Messaging to women. There is a reason why women are leaning more towards liberalism and men are leaning more towards conservatism. And there is a reason why men are drawn more to that Andrew Tate-esque style of commentary and women are averse to it because guess what? Men and women are different. Now, I completely agree with all of these sentiments of women should be mothers as soon as possible. They should stay at home with the family as opposed to being in corporate life. I agree with the sentiment that birth control is bad for us. It's bad for our brains and and it changes our physical and mental structure, essentially. I do agree with the sentiment that we need strong men in society and that feminism is a lie that a lot of women have fallen for. I agree with all of that. Okay, so listen to what she just said. She says, I believe feminism is a lie that a lot of women have, have bought into and fallen for. Okay, so how can we counter that? We must tell them the truth. But to every single right winger who is talking about these issues, I notice this pattern where they try to talk to women like they talk to men. And that's why we're losing a lot of women in the right wing, because guess what? Women aren't men and you can't talk to women the same way you talk to men. When it comes to men, you can do the Andrew Tate style, like be very bold, be very assertive, be very upfront, because that's what men understand. And that's how you do have to talk to men. You just have to be super upfront with them. With women, because we are more emotional creatures, you do have to have a softer and much better approach at talking about these issues. So when we have this wide variety of right wing men telling women uh yeah once you turn 30 you, you're not in your prime anymore and uh, you're not as attractive that men in the dating pool you're not as attractive in the dating pool as an option for men it's like look at how offended american women get by this in china they literally have a saying for it and they call them leftover women but when you just state a fact here you don't even call them anything you don't call them leftover women I mean, I do in titles of my videos sometimes. But we don't call them anything. We don't have a term for it. In China, they call them leftover women. And Charlie Kirk just said a simple truth. He didn't call them anything. And we have even right-wing women upset about it. So watch your tone. Watch your delivery. If you want women in politics to lean to the right, Watch your tone and delivery. To me, it just sounds like a great reason why they probably 
shouldn't be in politics. And women against suffrage knew this. This was one of their main arguments. They said, we don't want women to get into the corrupt nature of politics. Leave that up to men. And, and she is a right-wing woman. It's almost like, well, why are you, if you're a right-wing woman, why are you even in politics? It's like it doesn't jive. It doesn't go together. Pretty fascinating to me. It's just like you can't tell these women nothing. Oh, watch your tone. Watch your delivery. We've coddled them so much. Even the women who claim to be based. They, they still grew up in America. And they don't realize it, but, but it's shaped the way they are. And I think it's just so funny. Like I will reiterate it. In China, they literally call them leftover women. They have a name for it. They have a term. It's common knowledge. It's accepted truth. But here in America, even the right-wing women who claim to be based, if you just tell them the mere fact that when you're 30, you're less attractive in the dating pool than you, as if you were than when you were 20, they lose their fucking minds. You can't tell them the truth. They have to come to the truth on their own. You can't tell these young women, hey, don't don't listen to feminism. Get married young. Do all this, etc. Can't tell them the truth because they'll get offended. And then they'll come around saying, well, what, why didn't anybody tell me the truth? Because you cannot handle it. 